Before I tell you more about my professional experience summers, uh, I want to ask you all a question. How many of you know what you want to do when you grow up? Okay, there's some of you. Um, but for those of you that don't know, it's okay not to know. Um, and for those of you that think you know, um, I was like you. So when I was in your seat four years ago, I wanted to um, do foreign service. I wanted to work for the US State Department uh, developing diplomatic relations. As a 10th grader in high school, um, for the, I spent a year in Switzerland as an exchange student through the Rotary Youth Exchange Program. Um, I, Sorry, beyond learning new languages, cultures, and the value of diversity and intercultural relationships, my biggest takeaway was Rotary's motto, service above self. Having adopted this as my own mantra, I came into UNC wanting to want understand what impact would look like beyond my time as a student. So I sought to use my Moorhead Kane summers as opportunities to explore careers that truly manifest service above self. The most obvious to me at that time was nonprofit. So after my freshman year, I went to Kampala, Uganda, um, working for a small grassroots organization that was founded by Refugees for Refugees. While there, I conducted need assessment research for project proposals, rebuilt and redesigned their website, and supported the implementation of and reported on three um, ongoing grant funded projects with initiatives with global partners. Um, so through education, job training, healthcare, and entrepreneurial programs, this nonprofit seeks to improve the livelihoods of refugees. And although I believed in the work they were doing, there were major obstacles. Funding, the local job market, integration of refugees into the host community, and the effects of climate change, to name a few. But recognizing the importance of accessible markets and inclusive economic opportunities, I began to think about other levers that can affect positive change and potentially chip away at the pervasive barriers to entry that not only affect the community I worked in, in Kampala, but also our very own communities. So when I came back to school, I became curious about business as a force for good, which led me to pursue my first professional experience, an internship with Sephora Stands. Sephora Stands is Sephora's sustainability, um, the makeup company, so, um, sustainability, social impact, and diversity and inclusion arm. Um, and I believe that you all met Corey Conrad yesterday, class of 2002. Um, she is the founder and vice president of Sephora Stands. And um, I, so I found this internship through one of the many exceptional components about the Moorhead Kane Scholarship, the alumni network. Um, after learning more about her background and hearing her experience um, and work to leverage Sephora's strengths for the greater good, I knew that Corey was someone with whom I wanted to work um, and someone who, from whom I wanted to learn. So this experience um, by far has been the most transformative of my undergraduate experience. Um, so I worked on everything from uh, employee engagement to um, sustainability strategy and research. Uh, one of my projects was focused on um, working with uh, engaging employees and the brand Rin Skincare. Um, we did a beach cleanup in advance of their launch of a new product container that is entirely made from ocean, ocean plastics. Another one of my projects was um, focused on supplier responsibility. So one of my, um, basically uh, using the data from their factories, I found that 80% of women, of the factory workforce was women. And um, using that data, using the research that I compiled, um, I went to my bosses and demonstrated that investing in women is not only good in our supply chain, it's not only good for the women, but also good for our business. And so from there, I was able to um, d present my research to the upper management, and um, that was then adopted into the 2019 budget proposal, and Sephora has since partnered with several factories to implement a women's health program. So in the meantime, about a month into my internship, uh, I got an offer to extend through the fall. So initially, I thought, no, I can't take a stop out semester. I'm supposed to go to school. Um, I had this plan to study abroad. I wanted to work for the State Department. Uh, didn't make sense. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized I love San Francisco. I love the work that I was doing. Um, and I love Sephora and the team and the culture. So serendipitously, um, members of the amazing Moorhead Kane advising team happened to be in San Francisco visiting alumni and scholars. 
Um, so I got to meet with Julie, and she sat me down, looked me in the eyes, and you know, told me, life doesn't go according to plan. Sometimes you have to pivot, and that's okay. And although it's scary, um, something that the Moorhead Canyon really encourages in scholars is to not only learn to be comfortable with ambiguity, but to lean into it. So I decided to stay and took a gap semester. Um, and through all these projects that I was doing, I knew that by the end of the semester, I had made the right choice. So in the meantime, I'd also applied to and had been accepted to the US State Department summer internship program. And the next, semester, the next summer, I found myself in, at the US Embassy to the EU in Brussels, Belgium, on their public affairs team. So basically, the public affairs team, what they do is communicate US foreign policy to European audiences and European foreign policy to US audiences. Um, I worked with cult on cultural programming, so that meant like engaging with student groups, and I also did a lot with um, media and news outlets. And here's a behind the scenes look at the media hub with the former ambassador, um, Gordon Sondland. Some of you may recognize him from the news. Um, and no, I myself was not subpoenaed. Um, <laughs> my 10 seconds of fame, um, if you look hard enough, I'm in the background of the US EU Instagram. Um, so that was exciting. And <laughs> although um, I didn't necessarily, while I have the utmost respect for individuals that choose to serve in this way. Um, I myself, and I loved Brussels, I found the work to be kind of unfulfilling and slow compared to what I had previously at Sephora. Um, and I found myself like printing letters, um, transcribing audio, editing scripts, um, sealing envelopes, and even though it was, I'm so happy to have had the experience and been able to try out this thing that I've, you know, my dream job. Um, I am, I feel like that right now, even though, I mean, if you're asking me right now what I wanna do, I'm gonna be the one in the crowd that's not raising my hand. Um, so I'm currently trying to figure out my next step, but through the Moorhead Kane experiences, I feel like I have been given the tools to navigate that. So before I conclude, I really want to thank the Moorhead Kane Foundation staff and the Board of Trustees um, that are here for, have, for the opportunities that have been afforded to me through this program. And I also want to congratulate all of you finalists for the accomplishments that have brought you here today. Um, thank you so much.